Good evening, dear viewers. This is the game 7 Day to Die, and I'm Alex Cheshire Game. Propose to start today with the story of Party Goer Zombie Bob, then continue with the facts about Fun Pimps, and finish deep in knowledge about the game. Once a lovely Party Goer in the game 7 Day to Die, the character we will call Bob, loved a good night out with his friends. He was the life of the party, always dancing. Unfortunately, at one party, Bob made a, f made a fatal mistake. He incidentally drank from someone else's drink. And that drink happened to be infected with the zombie virus. It wasn't long before Bob began to feel the effects of the virus. His skin started to turn a sickly shade of grey, and his movements became slow and labored. At first, Bob tried to fight the virus. He barricaded himself in his home, hoping to ride out the infection. But as days went on, he became more and more like a zombie himself. His mind began to deteriorate and he lost all sense of who he once was. Despite his best efforts, Bob eventually succumbed to the virus. He rose from the dead, joining the ranks of the undead that now roamed the game's world. For a long time, Bob wandered aimlessly, driving only by his hunger for brains. But then something strange happened. As he roamed the game world, he began to recall memories of his past life, memories of his friends, his family and the parties he used to attend it flooded back to him. Gradually, Bob began to regain his sense of self. He started to recognize that he was different from the other zombies he encountered. He had consciousness, a memory and a view of his own. With this newfound self-awareness, Bob began to form a plan he decided that he would find a way to rid himself of the zombie virus, to become human again. It was a difficult task, but Bob was determined to success. Through trial and effort, Bob discovered that he could stay off the virus by consuming certain foods and drinks. He traveled far and wide in search of the right ingredients, all of them while battling hordes of zombies and other dangers. In the end, Bob's persistence paid off. He found a cure for the zombie virus and was able to return to his normal life. It was easy, but Bob had proven that even the most hopeless situation can be overcome with determination and strength of will. After curing himself of the zombie virus, Bob thought he would be able to return to his normal life. But one day, while he was out searching the for supplies, he saw something strange in the sky. It was a fleet of alien ships descending from the clouds. At first, Bob was terrified. He had never seen anything like this before, and he had no idea what the aliens wanted. But as the ships drew closer, he realized that they weren't here to harm him. They were here to make him away. Confused and scared, Bob reluctantly got on board one of the ships. He was whisked away to a distant planet where he was greeted by a team of aliens in lab coats. They explained to him that they had been watching him ever since he cured himself of the zombie virus, and then they believed he held a key for a cure for their own race ailment. The aliens put Bob through a series of tests and experiments, all aimed at finding a cure for their own sickness. 
But as the treatment continued, strange things began to happen. Bob started experiencing vision of a dark and mystical nature, and he could feel his consciousness drifting farther and farther away from reality. As the treatment progressed, Bob began to realize that something was terribly wrong. The aliens were using him as a pawn in their own game, and the cure they were seeking was not what it seemed. He realized too late that the mystical visions he was experiencing were the result of the aliens' attempts to manipulate his mind and extract as much information for him as possible. Bob was trapped on the alien planet, unable to live or escape. The strange mystical events continued, and he could no longer tell what was real and what was not. He was haunted by visions of the past, present and future, and he could feel his own sanity slipping away. In the end, Bob realized that he would never escape the alien planet. He was doomed to live out the rest of his days in a state of madness and confusion, but even the darkest moments he held on a glimmer of hope he knew that somehow, some way he would find a way to break free and reclaim his life. One day, during one of his many visions, Bob met other guests on the alien planet. These guests were like him, broached to the planet against his will and trapped here by the aliens. They had all been experimented on, used to test new tears, and were all desperate to find a way to break free. Bob and other guests began to discuss their shared experience and compare notes on what they had learned. They realized that they had all been given access to a wealth of knowledge and technology that could be used to their advantage. With renewed hope, Bob and the other began to formulate a plan they would use their combined knowledge and skills to create a device that could transport them off the planet and back to their respective homes. They worked tirelessly day and night using the alien technology to their advantage. As their plan progressed, Bob began to realize that the mystical visions he had been experiencing were not just hallucination brought on by the alien experiments. They were visions of the future glimpse into what could be if they succeed in escaping the alien planet. Eventually, their device was complete. Bob and other guests set their plan into motion, using the alien technology to power their escape. The plan was success and they were able to transport themselves back to their home planets, taking with them the knowledge and technology they had gained from the aliens. But Bob, experiences on the alien planet had changed him forever. He had seen things that no other human had ever seen, and he had been given knowledge that could change the course of history. He knew that could never go back to his old life. He, he was no longer the same person he had been before. Instead. Bob decided to use him newfound knowledge and skills to help others. He became a scientist, working to uncover the mysteries of the universe and create new technologies that could benefit humanity. He may have been trapped on alien planet against his will, but he had emerged from the experience stronger, wiser and more determined than ever before. Seven days to die. This is the second part about fun pimps. Seven Days to Die has been praised for its dynamic world, which is generated procedurally, ensuring that no two game worlds are even the same. Players 
mask may constantly adapt to changing conditions as in scavenge for supplies and fend off zombies. One of the things that sets the fun pimps apart from other the game developers is their dedication to their fans. They have always been open and communicate with their community, often taking suggestions and feedback from players to improve their games. This commitment to their community has helped to build a strong and gauge fanbase around their games. Players fear listening to and value which he led to a loyal following for fun pimps. Looking ahead, the fun pimps are continued to work on new projects, always striving to push the boundaries of what's possible in the world of inside game development. They remain dedicated to creating games that are both fun and challenging, and to building strong relationships with their fans. Also, the fun pimps is a small company. They have managed to create a games with a tremendous amount of dips and complexity, 7 days to die futures and detailed crafting system, a sophisticated physics engine and variety of different gameplay modes to keep players engaged. The game has also been praised for its modding community, which has created countless and countless new items, weapons and futures for the game. The fun pimps have always been supportive of modders, recognize the value they bring to the game and its community. Just this is the search part about optimal gaming of this game. Optimal way. Something like that. You stealth. Something is better to avoid zombies all throat, especially if you're low on resource on health. You can use stealth to sneak past zombies or hide from them. Crouch down to move quietly and avoid making noise and use cover to hide from zombies. Use Molotov cocktails. Molotov cocktails are a great way to detail with groups of zombies, especially if they're clustered together. You can craft Molotov cocktails using glass jar, gasoline and clothes. Just be careful not to set yourself on fire. Use a sniper rifle. If you're dealing with a so zombie such as feral white or radiated zombie, consider using a sniper rifle. The sniper rifle can deliver a powerful long range shot that can take out zombies quite quickly. Just be sure to aim carefully, as the recoil can be strong. Use a chainsaw if you're looking for a weapon that can detect deal massive damage to zombies. Consider using a chainsaw. The chainsaw can rip through zombies quickly, but it also makes a lot of noise. So be careful not to attract too many zombies at once. Use night visions. If you're exploring at night, consider using night visions to help you see better. Night vision Google can be crafted using electronic parts and duct tape, and they can make it much easier to support zombies in the dark. So, this is the end of the second part. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos. Bye.